Hey guys, it's Corey from Cruises Reviews. Hope you're doing great. I am coming at you from Scottsdale, Arizona today, uh, and we will be doing a review of the uh, Sanctuary Resort at Camelback Mountain. So this resort is definitely one of our favorites. We've been here once before, so I'll give you a review of the rooms, a review of the property, uh, and very crucially for this place, a review of the food. So hope you enjoy the video. So here we go, leading up into the room, you'll notice orange um, trees, if you will, and then obviously the flowers, and this is the entrance to our room. Beautiful large patio, and then we have a king size bed. Let me say it is very cool in the room. The room keeps cool even in the very high temperatures out in the desert and we have the great pedestal tub a glass tiled shower inside and then the outdoor shower which is fantastic in the summertime the accent lighting at night in the room is fantastic and it's just a beautiful excellent room view here is amazing. You'll notice also the fireplace is a gas fireplace, which is great also in the evening and especially in the winter months where it gets a little cooler outside. Into from the room up to the restaurant, pool, and spa area. I do want to mention that this room is the furthest room from the clubhouse of any room on the whole resort. So this is the longest walk that anybody would have from their room to the restaurant. And up to the right hand side, you'll notice the restaurant. This is also where you check in to the resort. we have the pool there are three pools on the property but this is the infinity pool and the pool where most people spend their time this pool is child free on the weekends although there are very few children on the resort at any given time I've only seen one in the two times we've been there All right as you can see this is the entrance to the gym What's up guys, it's Cruz, hope you're doing well. Uh, I am here at Sanctuary Resort and Spa this morning, uh, getting out my workout before the start of the day. Just wanted to show you guys this. It's a great workout facility, and uh, it's actually empty, which is nice. So I'm here on a Saturday morning, and of course I'm here a little bit early because I'm on the East Coast. Uh, so I wake up a little early out here on the West Coast, close to the West Coast. Uh, anyway. It's great. It's excellent. Everything's super clean. Everything's super nice. The attendance really great. You do have to wear your mask while you're inside. Uh, but yeah, guys, there is uh, nobody in here. So it's great. So the thing that really sets this place apart versus everywhere else we've ever been is the food. In a nutshell, the head chef of the restaurant Elements is responsible for breakfast, lunch, poolside, and dinner. So all the food is world class. The head chef's name is Bo McMillan. He's on the Food Network frequently. He's actually one iron chef and his food is just outstanding. So if there's one thing that really separates this place from the pack, it's that every meal you eat is going to be fantastic. Even just your snacks at the pool are just gonna be excellent. 
Uh, so you can see a couple of shots here. We ate like kings and queens for this, um, this trip. And so you'll see we had uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the resort almost every day. The dessert was awesome. And I just can't say enough about the food. A solid and exuberant five out of five. It really could not have been any better. You'll notice here uh, some of our breakfast dishes. Some of our favorites were the huevos rancheros. I love the acai bowl. Um, of course, you'll notice things like uh, the uh, pancakes and the waffles and all of those are great. But the fried rice for breakfast is fantastic. And you'll see that coming up here in just a second. Um, as far as dinner, the menu is very seasonal. So I don't want to give you any great recommendations here because by the time you get there, it might be slightly changed. But breakfast and lunch are much more stable. Uh, but honestly, everything we've had, you really can't go wrong. This was our biggest meal right here. And you'll notice that's the chicken uh, or the fried rice, uh, the breakfast fried rice uh, on the left. You'll notice the lemon ricotta pancakes, uh, the bananas foster waffle, and then of course the huevos rancheros um, up at the top. And again, just awesome food. There is nothing uh, that you're going to go wrong with here. You'll also notice that the food is very large portions. So it's okay to share. They don't frown upon that. We did that a lot while we were here just because there is so much to eat and so little time. This was also a little sampler. Uh, we talked to the head chef. He was nice enough to send this out to us uh, just to let us try a number of different desserts on our last night there for our anniversary. And of course they have a world-class cocktail uh, menu. So can't recommend the food enough. It is, uh, it is the reason that we will go back over and over and over. So as far as the spa goes, we cannot recommend it enough. It's serene, it's clean, and it's beautiful. The people giving the massages or the treatments are just world class. Um, the facilities are excellent. You get access to the facilities when you rent a room, so it doesn't cost anything additional just to use the facilities. It just costs more for the services. Um, so you can see here, this is the men's room. I checked with the staff. I got here early in the morning uh, to, uh, to get some video. Full that is the hot tub, and then they have a steam room up here on the right. They do not have a dry sauna because you're in the dry desert. Um, as far as the massages go, they are pretty pricey. They run about $200 a massage for an hour. So they are not cheap, but they are some of the best we've ever had. So um, if you're here for a spa retreat, you've come to the right place for sure. So a few of my final thoughts as we go, I would give this place just very high marks all the way around. Specifically, I would say that the rooms are a five out of five. They are super nice. They're very clean. They are everything you want out of a luxury resort room. Top notch, can't recommend them enough. As far as the service at the facility goes, it is just awesome. They even have a shuttle that'll take you around within like a five mile radius for free. So it's really excellent as well. It's about as good as you're gonna get. Overall, the facilities, awesome. Very good, top notch, high quality. Really don't have anything negative to say about the facilities. Very, very nice. And then of course, the food is world class. If there's one thing that sets this place apart, it's the rooms and the food. So if you're a foodie, this is the place for you. So my overall rating for this whole place has got to be, whether you're here for a girls weekend or whether you're here with your significant other, it's a luxury place, it's not cheap, but you will not regret coming here. It's excellent. So to wrap up um, on some bonus day trips that we took while we were here, the first thing is if you are a golfer, Scottsdale is like the mecca of golf. So three recommendations for golf. The number one recommendation, first of all, is the Phoenician. It's only about five minutes outside of the resort. They will take you there for free and it is gorgeous. 
Um, my second recommendation is TPC Scottsdale, the stadium course. Wow. It is beautiful. They play it on the PGA Tour. It's the most famous hole in golf, hole number 16. Um, and it is a spectacle. It's a lot of fun to play, uh, and it's about 20 minutes outside of town. The last recommendation is Wico Pa. It's about 30 minutes outside of Scottsdale, and it is in the middle of the desert. It's beautiful. It's probably one of the prettiest courses I've ever played in my whole life. Um, and the course I recommend there is called the Saguaro course. Now, these courses are not cheap in the winter. I think 200 plus dollars around. But in the summer, you'll get them for under 100. So if you're there a little later in the summer, get an early tea time and go enjoy yourself. The next thing I recommend is called August Karaoke Box. It's just an awesome place right outside of the resort, about 10 minutes. And we had a great time with some of our friends. Crucially, it is BYOB. As you can tell from this photo, we had a great time because of that. Lastly, I will mention the Undertow Bar in Tempe. Um, this place is about 15 minutes outside of the resort, and it is an awesome tiki bar that is set up to look like you are in the belly of a pirate ship. The drinks are amazing, but you will need reservations even in the middle of the day to get into this spot. Uh, so if you enjoy tiki bars, please do go check this place out. You will not regret it. So that's it for us, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing uh, to see more of our reviews. Take care.